So it's Tuesday, 31st October 2017 at 4 or 9pm. It's actually turned to 4.10 but the recording started at 4 or 9pm. So let me just uh, test this uh, audio. So. so the audio seems to be working. Um, so, yeah, so, it's just me and the house, me and the dog, my mom's going to see a, see a movie with her friends, she likes doing things like that, she likes going out, <laughs> she likes going out and visiting places, and I like guess it's boring staying at home, so. So she's uh, going to see some movie. I think it's a Tamil movie. It's a theater. Cinema. So it's just me and the dog. We don't really... Me and the dog, we don't have a <laughs> close relationship. <laughs> We're just like, oh. We are, we are like, um housemates. We don't really talk that much. <laughs> in fact, my rel it's similar to the my relationship with everyone else in the house, actually. <laughs> I relate to the dog as I relate to everyone else. <laughs> as housemate. Mm. Uh, so, I got an email from my consultant a few, I don't know, around 3.50 or something. Telling me, asking me if I could come tomorrow morning at 9.30pm for a, a job information session or something. And I said, I cannot attend. Um, I just did not feel like going tomorrow morning at 9.30 because I... Just, I, I, I just felt too mm, stressed by that. I think if they gave me a little more notice, like if I if I got this email yesterday, and they asked me to come Wednesday morning, then I would have come. But I felt like they sent the email at three fifty p.m. or whatever time. It was in, it was very late. That's how I felt anyway. It was sent at three thirty. 5 p.m. and like tell me come tomorrow morning I'm like no I just can't do that I'm sorry um, I think you should give me a little bit more notice than that you can't just sort of do that um, so I told them no and yeah I didn't give any reason or explanation I just said I could not attend uh, I think it's you know, it's very hard for me to say no to people. <laughs> so, and when I said, well, after I sent the email, I started thinking to myself, I started justifying to myself, I felt guilty, and I'm like, ugh. But sometimes you just have to say no. I can't go out 10 tomorrow. You don't have to give a reason. You just say, if they ask, if they ask the reason, then I'll tell them why. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't get any response back. So, um, yeah, I said I will see my, I will see my employment consultant tomorrow at uh, 2 10. <clears throat> so I did uh, talk to that uh, volunteering person at the disability place and she said there was a <clears throat> information session today or a fortnight from now and I said I will attend the information session a fortnight from now and um, I asked her, is it? difficult to get into the volunteering and she said no no we accept people so I might be able to get a, a volunteering a role at this place this place is right <clears throat> right in the area where my college is it's in the same area same suburb so you know when she asked me why do you want to do, uh, you know volunteer and I said I want to get work experience because I'm unemployed, I want to get work experience and so I can get a job. 
I should not have. Um, and I also said I have an interest in social justice, which is kind of true, which is kind of true. Um, although I'm not sure if I would um, actually, <coughs> um, it's an idea in my head, but I'm not sure if I would actually enjoy it if I actually did the job, because uh, if you, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really tried it. I tried to put coconut uh, milk in my latte today morning and it totally failed because the coconut milk I use is very thin so I couldn't get that creamy texture. I was so disappointed so I did I had to throw that coffee and make my soy latte because I just couldn't drink it. This was awful. Awful, awful. And I ordered some things. I, I um ordered some the coffee machine cleaning tablet and water filter and also bought some kitchenware jars, some coffee mugs and uh, got this Italian ex espresso thing, you know that 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 they have the way of making espresso because I want to try making because I'm not sure if my espresso machine is because it's three it's three years uh, old yeah, had it three years it's a very good machine but the steaming wand is sort of not working properly and I haven't cleaned it since I got it so I don't know if it's like really doing well so so I wanted to have an alternative way to make my coffee. There's the French press method which I used to use. Um, I'm going to try this uh, Italian espresso thing. Yeah, I did, did my uh, voice practice, I got up at five, and I did my routine, I, I cooked my veggie stew, uh, yeah, I did, did my studies, I did uh, finish my assessment, which is due today, I hand it in. Did some housekeeping. Still haven't made the appointment to see the counts, but I'm procrastinating on that. Oh, uh, I'm tired right now. applied for 29 jobs last month. Well, that was good. I actually applied today for a, um, uh, a, a banking job, of all things, because I went to this LGBTI job board and that's very disappointing because they really don't have a lot of jobs and most of them are like from the same company, like this banking company, and I'm like, ah. Oh. So I was kind of disappointed with that. And so anyway, so I, thought, I applied for this and I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I just want to get a job and I want to, I want to make money. <laughs> I'm so tired of being unemployed. I'm so tired of it. I'm so exhausted of being unemployed. <laughs> so I'm concerned of, and I have this sort of, um, I don't know why I have a mess. I, I, I think I have digestive problems. I don't know if I really have them or my stomach just feels slightly bloated. Uh, I don't know why. Is it because of the hormones? Because, you know, that, that's kind of, that can do that. Hormones can do that. And, or is it like my diet? Or is it stress? Or what, what is it? Is it the coffee? I mean, it's not like bad or anything. It's just slightly like, why does my stomach feel weird? So that's kind of concerning me. And I'm like, oh, I'm always like worried about my health. 
which brings in fears of mortality, you know, my, which, which brings in the fears of death and disease. And, I mean, I'm already kind of uh, down. <laughs> I don't want to make myself even worse because when you start thinking like that, it's just it just makes life even more difficult. It's like, oh, oh my God. I'm so tired of this makeup thing. I just like oh my hair. Oh no. Anyway. Be patient. Be patient. This is an opportunity to learn patience. Oh, today my weight was 60.3, which is probably the lowest of weight so far, 60.3, at around 5.20 or 20 a.m., I don't know, what it be, 5.22, I don't know. do that. Mm. I did uh, wash the uh, makeup sponge. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Those were about progress. The progress is very slow, but I am definitely sticking to my schedule. You know, that is probably the best thing I've learned from this course is making that schedule. Because it's really helping me take charge of my life. Instead of drifting and uh, so that schedule really does help. Let's be careful about this part thing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow. Oh, I did get my makeup like delivered. You know, I had to buy a replacement foundation. Is this okay? Oh, what? Uh, is this okay? I don't know. Is this okay? Is this okay? Uh, yes, I had to buy a replacement. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it comes in a bigger box, but this is what the box is. Uh, 20? Is that how old it is? 20 years? Why is it saying 20? I don't like it when things are difficult to open. Oh God, why is this so difficult to open? Okay, something to do that. So that's my foundation. So Bobby Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15. It's in the honey. Yes, it said it's the same thing. 
And because the, <clears throat> I think this is like 69 or $72. If you buy items over 75, you get free delivery. So I bought this. This is a blackout hair ties. My kitsch. So hair ties. Oh, is that an actual tie? It's like a... I thought this was going to be like a, a rubber band, but it's not. It's actually... Uh, you, might, you might have to tie it. Uh, uh, I want a rubber band. So... I think I think that's pretty all right. So uh, I believe that there I have my backup. And, uh, hmm. so I have to dispose of this garbage thing. I'll do it later. I'll do that later. You know, today is um, it's going to be slightly. Cold, so I think I'll wear. Oh, where my jumper? Where oh, my jumper? Wear this. Wear this jumper. Wear this one. Oh my God! Oh, there's another thing I'm sort of paranoid over is the asbestos. It's like. This, oh fuck, is there asbestos in here? How do you pronounce it? Is it asbestos or asbestos? <laughs> it's spring, but it is slightly cold today. Yesterday was such a good day, it was so warm. I don't, today I, when I got up, I just felt like everything was, was a bit off. Like I felt like, I felt kind of low the whole day and I think it's the, the, the weather because yesterday it was quite warm and I was I was feeling really good like you know but today because of the the coldness of the weather I, I started feeling down it's like what do you call that seasonal affective disorder sad yeah I don't like winter I like I prefer summer I don't like in winter. I just realized that I don't like winter. <sighs> okay. I got some. Uh, I ordered some nice coffee mugs. Oh, some nice colors. Uh, and some jars to store my because I want to store my apricots the dried apricots and the dates not in the fridge because it can get very hard so I'm going to store it in jars outside so it's warm and and when I eat it it's tasty okay so it's 4 28 p.m. I have to leave soon I have to leave uh, Okay, alright, so I will be leaving soon and alright, okay. Oh, Jesus, I almost dropped the phone. 5.20pm. <laughs> it's a bit uh, warm, warm. Oh, my hair, my hair. Um, what can I say? Oh, <clears throat> it's taking a long drive. This is like almost, I left around 4.46 according to the car's clock. But I think the car's clock is like three, three minutes faster than the iPhone. So it might be 4.43. So I got here at 5.20. So today's ride, there was a bit of traffic. Traffic. I was touching up my makeup here. Uh, I just can't stand it. Mm, I hate it. I hate this thing over here. 
I want to get them to focus on this. It's very painful. Very, very painful. But uh, it must be worked on. Oh, another thing I was thinking about why my I like it bloating in my stomach is uh, maybe could, because I haven't eaten any food since 7 a.m. And I noticed that it usually, my stomach starts feeling uncomfortable in the afternoon. So that could be another possible reason, but I'm, I feel like, you know, hormones might be, you know, I, I mean, it's not like, any pain or anything. It's just I feel slightly bloated and uh, yeah. Something else to concern about. My anal fissure, yes, I do manage it there, you know, so there hasn't been any blood or anything for a while, so that's good, but um, yeah, you know, someone, something else. I think I inherited my mom's digestive system because she's got, uh, apparently when she was a baby, they thought that a digestive system was like not well or something. But she's lived this long. But um, yeah, I think, yeah, because I'm lactose intolerant as well, so. That might be a genetic inheritance. Uh, genetic. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying to not go to that gravelly area because <clears throat> at a certain range it feels normal. I mean, it doesn't feel gravelly. You know, the gravelly part is that when I go low, it feels gravelly. When I go a bit high, high, it feels not gravelly. See, you see? Uh, hello, hello, it's gravelly. Hello, hello. See, it doesn't, it sounds a bit more smooth. Uh, yeah, smoother, smoother. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to relax a bit and uh, have to get to class. I hope today's class is going to be okay. I hope it's going to be okay. All right. Oh, I got a pimple here. How did that happen? Wasn't I like, yeah, I do wash my face in the morning and night. So. And my stomach is growling. That might be definitely the food issue because uh, seven, when I get up at five, I make my veggies do around six. I started making my breakfast today around 6.30. So I started eating my breakfast around 6.40. So, so that was all. So around seven was my last, you know, I drank my coffee. So, you know, it's a while between meals. So anyway. It's okay. I don't feel t like uh, I don't feel starved or anything because I'm used to this. Uh, my body is getting used to it. Maybe uh, even though my stomach feels like it's slightly bloated, I don't feel hungry. I don't feel hungry. No, uh, I don't feel hungry because of my body is getting used to it. I think. I think. Uh, anyway. It's 8.15 p.m. So, yeah, I'm going home a little bit earlier than 8.30. Oh, this is gonna scare me. Good night. Oh, oh Jesus. These open places. Anyway, so I'm going to be going home and uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going 
I will eat my veggie stew. And uh, uh, what else? Um, I gotta get up at five tomorrow. Tomorrow it's gonna be busy as well. Uh, uh, okay. All right. So it's 1.47 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, the 1st of November, 2017. Uh, so, um, oh, I shaved my armpits. <laughs> but I, there, there's still some hair here I couldn't get. It's like, uh, where is that? So, um, <clears throat> yes, I took a shower. This is a uh, sound coming from outside. It's oh, making an awful noise. Uh, so anyway, okay. <coughs> I'll be back. I need to test the uh, just <coughs> recording properly. Uh, so yeah, I had to uh, change the uh, camera because it was using the. 151 p.m. It was using the camera from the Mac, whereas I want this camera. I don't know if this is better or the other one. I don't know. Well, let me try the other one now. Okay, everything's all messed up with my <laughs> recording program. It's like. Oh, I, sp I spent like five minutes on this. <laughs> I don't have time. Oh, I just can't believe this is like something's always doing something. Oh, yeah, everything is just so stressful. Well, at least the noise is gone. Then I can listen. Oh. Oh, I keep on doing this. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't know why this looks so wonky. Like, why isn't it like. I look so miserable right now. It's like... <sighs> so tired of everything. Well, I got up at five today and did all my things. Uh, voice practice, veggie stew. Mm, I didn't do any studies so far or search for any jobs. Well, I'm gonna take a shower. Uh, been quite busy. I've gotta go to the job agency and then I've gotta go to the class in the evening. Oh god. The noise. The noise is back. noise. <laughs> I can't do anything about that. I could close the window but it's like uh, I'm tired.
to fix this window. Because of the lighting, I can't fix it properly. Skin feels like it because I took a shower. It feels uh, cracked. <laughs> it's like uh, because of the Dr. Bronner's. It is a. Uh, it's very dry. It makes the skin very dry. I should put oils after I take a shower. Put oils. Uh, yeah. Try to find a way to. Um, oh, they ship the um, the stuff from the kitchen warehouse. So did they ship those? Yes, I I couldn't like this. I'm gonna try and share. There are some sp spaces there. And I wanna find a way to get this whole like uh, like all the pigmentation like gone. So it's like you know what I mean. So it's just one one color. It's not like dark here, spotty there. In here, yeah. it's a bit better because I took a shower, I washed it, put coconut oil for a couple of hours. was 60.4 today around 5 a 17 5 18 a.m. so we're on that range I'm doing my seven minutes of exercise hopefully the more exercises I do then I might lose more Wait, because I want to go down to my. I want to go down to 56 kilos. Yeah. That's what I'd like to go down to. So I'm wearing a, a, a pants, you know, this 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 tight, like, uh, this, you know, this one over here. Uh, it's, it's tight, like, but. Uh, oh, let's see. drive my mom's gonna drop me so that's good I should print out this thing over here. Let me print out the uh, job search record. Uh, awful. Uh, the printer's making a noise. Print. 
print. Yes, print. Yeah. Oh, my way this is printing. What? What's the problem? No, oh, it's online now. Oh, damn it. This stupid thing. I gotta. F anyway, so I have to print this. Uh, I have to put the USB in. Um, so, uh, okay. I'll, I'll get going now. So it's 2.33pm, <clears throat> oh, I'm waiting for my mom to come, pick me up, she's at the shopping mall. So yeah, she asked me like why couldn't I come to the, uh, <clears throat> that uh, job in information session and I told, told her I was um, stressed out. Um, it came, you know, late in the evening, and uh, I just felt stressed, and uh, that's why I couldn't come. And uh, well, that was it. <laughs> that was it. No more explanation needed. So, um, you know. If you give me like one day's notice, that would be good. And uh, yeah, and she's like, yeah, yeah. You know, so she wasn't like bugging me about it, but she just wanted to know why. So I told her why because I felt stressed and I thought it came too late in the evening and I was getting ready to go to my class and I just felt stressed and I just didn't feel like coming. Something like that. I felt stressed. I remember saying that I felt stressed, which is true. I did feel stressed. So, so yeah. All right. So, um, uh, you know, I just it's kind of depressing. You know, it's, I mean, being unemployed and whatnot. It's kind of depressing. All right. Okay, so guys laughing is so loud. <laughs> Alright, going home. Oh my god, it's 4 13 p.m. And so this is a recording from the um the Max uh camera. It's not the other camera I have. I don't know why when I <coughs> plug the USB into this thing over here it's just not working I'll, I'll try it with it, this camera <laughs> so I'm going to um, uh, apply some makeup uh, I had a bit of a nap from 310 to uh, 4 and uh, so I needed that nap I was like so exhausted mm. I feel, I feel so powerless. I feel so powerless. Like, I feel so powerless. Hmm. Why can't I? I feel like my life is stuck. It's not going anywhere. Hmm. 
I feel like my little life is stuck. I guess that's how I feel. Mm. What I'm telling myself, God is trying to teach me patience, perseverance, patience and perseverance. Yes, I said, I said God, yes, I said. <laughs> oh, I was thinking the other day, oh, maybe I should find a church that um, uh, accepts. LGBT people. Mm, maybe I could hang on Christians. Well then again I might I don't know if that's I just feel depressed. <laughs> I feel depressed right now. I feel depressed. Mm, yes I do. Yes, I do. But, you know, despite feeling depressed and I'm still, uh, you know, doing things in my schedule and going to my classes and appointment and uh, making my veggies too. And so I'm doing things despite feeling uh, despondent, disillusioned. Somewhat powerless, depressed, aimless. Yeah, I feel, I feel despite all of those uh, negative uh, feelings or experiences, I'm still, uh, you know, trying to, you know, keep myself going. Uh, I need to just change my top to this top. Let's, uh, yeah, let's change it. Let's change. So yes, uh, yeah, maybe maybe God's teaching me, or uh, yes, the universe. Or, well, I like to say God. God is. Well, God's like a, a friend, <laughs> you know, he, he's someone to talk to. Like, you really feel like, oh, no one cares. You're like, oh, God is there. You can talk to God. And, you know, Jesus is um, a pretty cool person. Jesus is, so. So we have an idea how God is like. If God's like Jesus, then God's pretty cool. The uh, uh, I wash the oh. I wash the um, steamer. Yes. I wash the steamer. I feel a bit tired, but uh, you know. Doing things and <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm. 
So, um, that's 420. I'll be, uh, oh, I have to go. I've got to pick up my mom, like, after I like, come back. I was having an argument with her in the car. Like, why didn't you tell me earlier? Did you know I had a schedule? <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned the schedule, but um, I, I don't know. I was just very irritable. I was so irritable. I think because I was very tired. I was just so irritable. I was just like, you know, when you're so tired, it's like you just can't stand like any, yeah. It's get very agitated very quickly, you know. So, yeah, that's how I was feeling. Anyway, so I'm just gonna relax a bit and leave at 4 40 p.m. Okay. So it's uh, 5 of 8 p.m. Yeah, the, the traffic was pretty good today. It was a very smooth like ride. Mm, not, no, you know, no congestions and stuff. It was good. It was good. Less stressful. It's a very cloudy day. Hot, warm, but cloudy. It was like it might rain or something. So, uh, anyway. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, it's him talking. Hmm. So. I'm gonna just relax and oh, my lips are dry. Oh, when did I have my breakfast? I think I had around 6.50 a.m. I think I might get up a bit later, like 8 o'clock tomorrow. Eight o'clock. I don't know, I like getting up early in the morning because uh, I feel like I've got all the, everyone's asleep and I can do all of my stuff and, you know, I like getting up early. Uh, well, I guess I'll get up early, I don't know, I'm just tired. <laughs> so I'll just uh, sign off now. Close to eight thirty. Parking. Oh, there's a car with my keys. <sighs> oh, a bit tired, but I did a lot of work, uh, so that was good. <sighs> oh yeah, so that was good. I thought someone was behind me. <laughs> So I'm gonna go home, and eat my veggie stew spot, <clears throat> close to 8.30 p.m. Then I gotta pick up my mom and it's like, uh, so much work. <laughs> well, it's uh, 2.01 p.m. Friday, 3rd November 2017. Yeah. So I got some of the things I ordered um, so I thought I'll make a video sh uh, talking about it
thank goodness. This is the cleaning tablet. I was, I was getting worried about this. This is for the coffee machine. Oh, these are the water filter cleaning tablets. Thank goodness. I was getting so worried. Like, I didn't do any. So that was good. Oops. There the noise. This came from this place called Kitchen Warehouse. The delivery, the delivery was pretty prompt. So, yes, they seem to be refreshing. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is the, um, the jar. Throw something. So this is for. Oh no 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 no! This is for the milk. <laughs> I wanted to get a jar to put the milk. So this is like a traditional. Well, it's sort of like a milk jar. It's, so because I wanted to put my. It doesn't. Is it? This isn't exactly a milk jar, but it's sort of you can put milk jar. It's got the thing on top. So that's the milk jar. Uh, and then this is a that espresso thing, mocha espresso. You know, we, we you heat it and it comes. It's the, it's the Italian method of brewing coffee. And this is a this is a jar I got to store my. Um, this is the same people who made that um, uh, the mug, the coffee mug I bought last time. Hopefully I can store it had you had it had different patterns on the top. So this this is sort of like a I chose this pattern because it, it sort of looked like the apricot. So it's a nice little jar. Nice little jar there. And uh, this is an old English storage jar, one liter. The other one is seven hundred and fifty milliliters this is a i want to store my um dates dates in that and these must be the uh the mugs i bought Well, so that's the this the, this mug might fit underneath the uh, so the, it's, it's chess or something. It's very, it's like ceramic. It's, it's nice. And I got the same one in a different color, blue color, oh, duck blue or something. The same thing where it's like a different color. It's pretty heavy, so it's nice. Okay, so those are the things I got. Wait a minute, I did. I remember buying a spoon, so I don't know. Last time I remember, like, um. small spoon a coffee spoon oh my god <laughs> I wanted a bigger spoon than this Jesus this is so small oh my god anyway so so that's some of the stuff I got there and my oil still hasn't gone but I'm very glad the coffee machine tablets and all came because I was like getting worried about so, uh, yeah, some show and tell stuff, and uh, uh, okay. <laughs>